With the release of our new curved enclosure, one of the most common questions we've been getting is, how do I make this work with a projector? Don't I need multiple projectors on this display? Uh, the answer is no, you really don't. Um, and there's a couple of different ways that you can get this set up. One thing you can do is get a projector that has settings that allow you to manipulate the display to fit your curved screen. In this case, our projector, we can do that. It is the LG ProBeam BU53RG projector, uh, but we're also gonna show you software that you can use to achieve that same result. All right, so first off, let's look at the software solution for adjusting your display. So the software we are using is called Immersive Display Pro. Um, you'll see it listed online also as Fly Elise NG. The license that we have is the Immersive Display Pro with the USB dongle. You can get it without the dongle. It starts at 100 euros. With the dongle, it's 170 euros. So that's what we're using, and we will include a link to that below. Uh, so we are just going to open that up. And what we want to do is, uh, first, we have to configure our alignment. Uh, so we click on this. We're going to get a pop-up over on the window that we are configuring, but I'm going to drag it on over here so I can see it better. What we see is a bunch of text on the screen. Uh, it's not very conducive to what we're looking to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is click here uh, on this drop-down menu, and you'll see there's all these different selections, and that's going to change what appears on your screen. What we found works best is this one. It's called Checkerboard 2. And when you select that, you'll see you get well, a checkerboard on the screen with different colors and numbers and lines across the screen. And we just found that this makes it easiest to set up and get everything lined up on the screen. Uh, next thing we're going to do is look at our control points. If you look up here, uh, you'll see we have it set for five horizontal and four vertical control points. Again, this is just what we found works best. You can always adjust that up or down depending on your needs. What we're gonna do first is adjust the height of the screen. You'll see right now, if I click on one of these points, I can move it left, right, up, down, anywhere. All I wanna do is adjust the height. Uh, so I'm going to select this drop down that says move X, Y, and I'm gonna select instead move Y. So that way, I can't move it back and forth, I can only move it up and down. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just clicking down at the bottom and pulling that image up until it gets to the bottom edge of our screen. And we've got five different points selected. So we're going to go across all five points and get that lined up. You can see as you move one, some others might move a little bit. So it'll take a little bit of, of tweaking to get it just right. But that looks pretty good. Uh, then we're going to go up to the top. We can't really see it right now, but if we click up there and drag down, there's the top of our screen. There's point number two over in the corner for point number three. We'll head back to the left side, find number four. And there we go. That looks pretty good across the top. And you make a little bit of an adjustment right there. Uh, so now that we've got the vertical portion set, we're going to go in and do the same thing only with the horizontal. So what I want to do is switch this from move Y to move X. So that way I can't move it up and down anymore, just side to side. So I'm going to go over here and start bringing these four points in. So there's one there. One there. Way down in the corner, we've got another one. And as you see, when I adjusted that one in the corner, now you can see, I think you can see, that it affected the horizontal positioning on some of those edge squares. So we are gonna have to go back and adjust that. Um, but then we'll go over to the right side and kind of do the same thing. Just have to lean back so I can see what I'm doing here. And we'll make those four adjustments, perfect. So now we've got the horizontal lined up. I want to go back and kind of tweak the bottom portion. So I switched it back to just move Y. We're going to go into that corner and this corner and move those up to get that image off of the floor. So I think that looks pretty good as far as getting the entire screen filled. 
Um, but you'll notice that we now have these boxes that are all different sizes, these diagonal lines that aren't straight. What we want to do is try to balance all of this out. Uh, we want to try to make all of those boxes as similar as we can in size. We want to try to make those boxes so they go straight across the screen. Instead of, you can see at some points, they kind of dip down. Uh, so it's just going to be a matter of, again, playing with everything, trying to get it lined up correctly. To do this, what I'm going to do, instead of doing a single point move where I can click on this spot right here and it will move just that point, I want to click and move the entire column to help try to get everything lined up. All right, so now that we have the screen you know, pretty well filled in, uh, we're going to try to get everything nice and even on the screen. So we want to try to get these boxes looking like they're relatively the same size. I have right now, uh, we're moving just the Y axis. I'm trying to adjust this, adjust this vertically to make all of these squares on here relatively the same. Um, and again, this is just going to take some trial and error on your part uh, to, to get it to work. And I, we also want to look right here where you can see this line right now, it goes across and it dips down right here. Well, we don't want that. So we're going to try to get all of these lines on the screen to be nice and perfectly flat horizontal. All right, so we've gone through, we've set up our display. Uh, we're back here in Immersive Display Pro. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is just do a save as, and we're going to do uh, just a file. I'm gonna name it test one. And then to actually get this to display on your projector, you hit enable desktop warping, and you'll see that your projector switches over, and we now have a screen totally filled with an image. You just need to make sure that when your computer is starting up that you open up Immersive Display Pro and that you enable that display warping. And you should be able to set this program just to automatically run on startup. So there's other tutorials online where it really gets a lot more in depth. This is just kind of the basics of what you need to get up and running with our curved screen displays. So next up, we're gonna show you how to adjust the image using the warping features that are available on some projectors. Uh, the projector we're using today is the LG ProBeam BU53RG, um, and it's got uh, a really easy way just to do that right here. So the first thing I do is click the settings button on the remote, and then uh, under easy settings, we're going to go to the installation wizard. On the installation wizard, we're going to look for the edge adjustment. And in here you see you can adjust either 4, 9, 15, or 25 points. Uh, we found it's easiest just to do the 9 point adjustment. So we're going to select that. And then all we do is go through and select the different points on the screen that we want to adjust. Um, at first it might be a little tricky to see where you're selecting, but you can see in the upper left hand corner there how that arrow is kind of highlighted maroon. That's what I have selected right now. I push up and I'm now up in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to hit the OK button on the remote to select that. And all I have to do is push down, go to that down arrow and start clicking on the OK button. And every time you click OK, it's going to adjust that image slightly. So we're going to keep clicking OK until we get that corner pretty well situated. And then we'll go over here and start moving that in using that right arrow button. And you can see we've got that pretty well situated in that top corner. So we're just going to go through each point on the screen, each of the nine points, and make the adjustment. So we'll start by going around the edge. Again, we're just going to click on the right arrow over and over until we get that image lined up with the edge of the screen. 
and then we'll go down to the bottom corner. Do the same thing. So I'm taking it out a little far there. We'll go back. Then let's go to the bottom and let's bring that up. Looks like we got a ways to go. If you hold it down, oops, I thought if you held it down, it would keep going. There it goes. So, at least go for a little while. So we've got the edges pretty well set here. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is go right to this middle section. We're gonna select that, and what we want is to make that horizontal line pretty much perfectly straight across. Um, so we, we wanna bring that up, because you can see it dips down quite a bit. So we're going to bring this center line up until that looks like it is horizontal. Maybe right about, well, keep going I would say. I'd say right about there looks pretty good. Uh, so you just wanna make sure that line is perfectly horizontal, the vertical line obviously perfectly vertical. And we should be able to head back out now and get back to our main screen. And you can see it is pretty well adjusted. Looks like maybe I can tweak the bottom of the screen a little bit. It can use some fine tuning and if you wanted to have more adjustment points to be able to tweak individual portions a little more, you can always do that as well. Uh, but this gives you an idea of what you need to do for your curved screen setup using a projector. One thing you can do to check your screen squareness um, is just pull up a window, make it look relatively square like this one is. And as you move it around the screen, you shouldn't notice much of any distortion on the screen. Everything should be looking right. You'll see that this one, it looks like there's some waves to it, but that's just because we have a couple of waves in our screen from hitting into it. Um, but overall, it's retaining its mostly squared look. All right, so that's just a couple of different ways that you can manipulate your image to fit on your new curved display. If there's any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.